Should seniors lift light or heavy weights? Hey, I am Nate and I am a physical therapist and personal trainer. So the short answer is both. Seniors should lift light and heavy weights, not one or the other. Lifting heavy weights when progressing over time is incredibly safe and beneficial for seniors. And not only does this help seniors retain type two muscle fibers, fast twitch muscles, it also stimulates bone growth and reduces your risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, the importance of lifting weights for seniors uh, I, I can't be understated. It's important. So as you know, getting older is really not easy. You lose muscle mass, you lose bone density, balance, cognitive speed, visual acuity, skin elasticity, among other things. But what if I told you that a key factor in almost all of those is lifting weights? If by lifting weights two times a week, you could single-handedly address getting up from the floor, off of the toilet, in and out of the bathtub, walking long distances, jumping, moving quickly across a crosswalk, going for long hikes, cycling, running, and much more, would that be worth it to you? I'd say so. I mean, that's huge. Lifting weights also has a large effect on our cognitive health too and prevents the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's. It is my strong position, along with the American Academy of Sports Medicine and literally every other governing body and association, that seniors should be routinely lifting weights. So since that's the case, how much weight should you lift if you're a senior? Well, this depends on what your overall goals are. If your goals are to stay as independent as possible, as long as possible, and to be able to travel and do whatever you want, then you would greatly benefit from lifting two times per week, at least. More is better in this case. Even one time per week can have massive benefits um, if two times a week sounds like too much. In terms of the poundage or kilos that you should lift, this is going to depend on your experience level. I'll give you an example from a Strong 65 class that I've run. That's a strength training class for people 65 and older that I used to run. When my clients first started out, most of them were shoulder pressing and bicep curling five pounds or less. A year later, most of them were able to bicep curl and shoulder press at least 12 pounds in each arm. And I have one client who is 70 and is able to shoulder press 15 pounds. Um, she tried out 20 pounders as well. There really is a disconnect between how much people think they sh could should be lifting with how much they could be lifting. And by the way, I had three women in that class who were shoulder pressing 12 pounds for 10 reps. Wow, 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 wow. They were able to accomplish this over the course of a year and when we finished that, they were still moving forward. Um, they were getting stronger as they were getting older, which is great. And these were not women who were athletes or who had been lifting their whole life. They literally just started and had had no prior experience lifting weights. So I just wanna make it very clear, this is possible for anyone. Even you. Each of these women also had some orthopedic issues before, whether it was shoulder pain, knee pain, back pain. They were all able to recover from that and start lifting weights. So how much weight should a 65 year old man and a 70 year old man or woman lift? Um, age really has nothing to do with how much you should lift actually. So your focus should be on starting with light weights with the focus of learning how to do the movements properly. Once you can do them properly, work up to a weight that you can do eight to 12 reps of. After you've done this, make sure that the last rep that you do is difficult. To gauge difficulty appropriately, you should notice that the speed of moving the weights slows down by quite a bit. On your last rep, you should be pushing or pulling as hard as you possibly can, but the weight should be moving slowly. This means that your intensity is high enough and that's how you make progress. Maximum intensity. A lot of people don't push hard enough. And again, I, I wanna reiterate that there's no difference between men and women and how much you should lift. Uh, senior women are recommended to lift the same as men in terms of frequency, duration, intensity. And it's arguably more important to lift weights at a high intensity for women than it is for men, as women do have much higher rates of osteoporosis due to hormonal changes during menopause. Lifting heavy and routinely stressing the bone creates a chemical stimulus to place more bone on the area that was stressed. This is called Wolf's Law, 
and it is responsible for helping to reverse osteoporosis. And this is a question that comes up too, like at what age should you stop lifting weights? You should never stop lifting weights. The quickest way to the grave is to become old and weak. Like seriously, I've worked in a hospital too and it's not good. Eventually, like we'll all reach a point where we will be unalive. However, most of us have the option of staying strong throughout our entire lifespan. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather be really strong at the end of my life and be independent till the day I'm gone. Lifting weights can do that for you. Um, and then you know, people often ask like, what age should you stop lifting heavy? Similarly to age, like you should never stop lifting heavy. I don't know if you've seen these videos of 90 year old power lifters, but they exist and this doesn't have to be the rare case. Even if you lifted 20% of what they're doing, you'd be far ahead of the crowd. And I'll, I'll link to a couple of those down in the description. Um, and another thing that people ask is like, what's the best exercise for seniors if, if you're a senior? And uh, this is really a loaded question. However, I would say that lifting weights resistance training is the most important and best type of exercise for several reasons. Strength training preserves muscle mass and you lose muscle mass at a rate of one to 2% every year once you hit the age of about 35 if you don't lift weights. This is a huge problem, but a problem that can be solved with strength training. Sure, like you eventually you will continue to lose strength. However, it will be at a much lower and, and slower rate. And additionally, resistance training preserves bone density, like we had kind of alluded to before. So if you check out the Lift More trial, which I can also link in the description and see what it found in osteoporotic women, it did not increase fracture risk at all. And this was from high intensity lifting. Strength training also improves cognitive function and prevents dementia. Um, there have been several newer studies published about the brain benefits of resistance training for seniors. And if you don't care about muscle mass or bone density, you should, uh, you'll likely care about brain health. Um, strength training also improves balance and prevents falls. Now, this is a huge one too. Like if you want to prevent falling and improve your balance, lift weights. It can literally be that simple. Um, now, of course, there are other things you should be working on, like single leg balance, reactive balance, and agility. However, those are topics for other articles or other other videos that I'll link to once I've once I've made them. Can a 70 year old regain muscle mass? And this is a great question. And um, the answer is yes. I have worked with many 70 year olds who were able to gain muscle mass. Can you still build muscle at 80 years old? Yes. While it's harder to build muscle at 80 years old, it's still possible and arguably more important the older you get. Combining strength training with adequate protein intake is crucially important to building muscle and maintaining your independence at home. Can seniors exercise too much? While it's possible to overexert, this likely should not be your primary concern. Most seniors are not exercising nearly enough to begin with. It's important to start any new exercise program slowly and progress over time, and this will minimize any adverse um, effects of exercise. Are squats good for seniors? Yes, squats are a great exercise for seniors. If you have knee osteoarthritis, these can be helpful or they may hurt, so it really depends on the person. Uh, my recommendation is to try different variations of squats, which can be as simple as standing up and down from a chair and seeing how that feels with the goal to progress to full squats without the chair behind you. There's nothing inherently wrong with squats and they are important to uh, strengthen the quads, the front of the thigh muscles. Um, and besides like lots of things in daily life require squatting, getting out of bed, up and down from the toilet, getting up from the floor, to name a few things. How can older people strengthen their legs? Squats, deadlifts, leg uh, lunges, leg press, knee extensions, hamstring curls, and many more are great exercises to use to strengthen your legs. I'll likely need to make a bunch of videos um, and just uh, post that of different leg strengthening exercises for seniors. Um, but hope this is helpful. Take care. Have a great day. 